Governor Dan Malloy said it yesterday. If the Amistad doesn't make an appearance at New London Sailfest, do not bank on state funding. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live from our Hartford newsroom. And Josh, I understand that the governor's advice was followed. That's right, Aaron. But when we talk to the director of the Amistad for what it took to make that request possible, we apparently touched on one subject she didn't want to talk about. Enjoy the rest of Sailfest. At this year's Sailfest in Connecticut, there's more in the air than just the wind in flag draped boats. Nice, light, cool breeze. There's controversy. Until literally the 11th hour, I was still not sure if I was going to have the people in place, the resources in place. This is Hanifa Washington. She's the executive director of Amistad America. Tuesday, she made the decision not to bring this educational vessel to Sailfest because of an upcoming Coast Guard inspection and negative press coverage into the organization's finances by News 8 media partner The Day of New London. But as you can see here, Washington changed her mind. When you get a letter from the governor saying, I would uh, suggest that you reconsider, you kind of have to make action. In that letter, Governor Daniel Malloy threatened to reconsider his support of additional state funding for the Amistad, which would amount to nearly $400,000 in this year's budget. Is this a question of improper planning, or is this a question of you just didn't have the money? It is definitely a question of just didn't have the money. And that's pretty much all Washington will say about the issue. How much funding are we talking about here? I can't really get into that right now. Even when she's asked again, Ten thousand dollars, more than ten thousand. What are we? Give me, give me, give me a rough, rough frame. All I can really say is that without the people who stepped up, we wouldn't be here today. And I'm really happy to be here at Selfest. And again. So, what was your staff at? I guess, and then what number did you have to bring that to to make all of this happen? You know what? I'm just really happy that we were able to attract who we were able to attract. The people stepped up to get the vessel here. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, but that's not what I asked. I mean, how many do well, you, you are have giving how me many a hard time. Like, I, I'm not going into that right now. If we can talk about that later, I've got people, you see this line of people, they're waiting for me to do the mission of this, this vessel. I am this, the program here today. So I'm telling you, I'm very excited and happy that we were able to pull it together by people's kindness so that we could be here to do the ship's program. And all these people here are waiting for me to do that. So if you would please, I'm done with this interview. In the interest of transparency, the interview with Washington lasted approximately eight minutes. We were never told that there would be a time limit. Now, we are learning more about how the Amistad was able to make its way to New London. We're told that it left the docks of New Haven at approximately 5 a.m. this morning. For now, we're live in the Hartford Newsroom. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.